guys my neighborhood is so quiet and i am feeling so lonely guys you want to know i did not know this before that the reason a lot of people are living in these apartments in this estate is because of school so when i came in here i oh my god did i greet you guys welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here you're highly welcome but if you're a returning subscriber thank you so uh do wait to hit the subscription button don't forget to like this video now that we have done that let's move straight into today's video guys when i moved in here i was so comfortable so relaxed because i met lots of foreigners here living in this um apartment this estate there are lots of foreign people here both black and white and um especially the many the most um the most populated people here were people of french like the french people that lives here some of them are from Cote d'Ivoire that's Africa coast I don't know if the first pronunciation was correct some are from Cote d'Ivoire that is Africa coast some some are from Benin some are from where Togo yeah there are some Togolese that lives here they are almost all nations like almost every nation in this life is here in this estate they live here and uh, both black and white yeah like i said so i was happy that oh okay this type of place is so cool given the fact that i given the fact that i'm not from here i'm like okay it's good to live in a place where there are lots of foreign people that you know also it's good to live in a place that has a lot of foreigners so that if you guys are to run you know where to run to you know all of you team together and run away that is just saying okay there are no crimes in Ghana there are no issues here nobody threatens you the police got your back okay so when I say in case you're running maybe there's something they need you to know that um you shouldn't do a foreigner like you will always tell you oh i got into trouble by doing this thing and i know you're not from here so i'm telling you so that you won't do it okay that is what i mean so i did not know that i do not have neighbors i don't get neighbors guys do you know that this place should i keep quiet The place is quiet you know i was worried that oh during um uh, vacay when school go on vacation how am i going to be able to film my youtube videos my god the noise is going to be just too much that was what i thought until schools went on vacation and i woke up the next day i didn't see anybody again like some of them flew out of the country that particular day so people all these people are here just for school a lot of them are here just for school they want to have a taste of the Ghanaian education my god I didn't know that yeah some of the politicians of representing where I come from in Nigeria have their kids in schools in Ghana here and I know of people that are privileged in Nigeria that has their kids in Ghana uh, schooling in uni here in Ghana so I had always thought that oh it's only universities that people are coming here for I didn't know that even secondary primary school people are here for it okay yeah that is an accolade I'm still doing my finding about the Ghanaian education system I've talked about the police video here I made a video about the police and it has a lot of Nigerians copying it. Hey, the Ghanaian police did this. The Ghanaian police, some of them even used my thumbnail. So when it got to that, yeah, when I fully finish my, when I'm done with my investigation, I'm going to make a video about the Ghanaian education system. So today is not all about the education system. It's about me, what I didn't know about my neighbors. So I thought I have been living with people who have jobs here who lives here who have businesses here only for me to wake up this week i am lonely guys there is no single child around the only child you see around here even this my whole of 
the apartment is only one lady that recently put to bed who happens to be a Ghanaian and she lives here with her mother and her husband those are the only people uh, that is the only apartment that has a child in it right now every other one you see adults yeah maybe like young people with no kids um because them of course i don't know why they are here so whatever they are here for maybe work or they live here whatever yeah but kids no single child here they have all gone back to their country because of the holiday so they crave for the uh, they crave for the ghanaian education system is so serious now i see a lot of people tell me on on facebook hey i'm so happy for you your child is getting the best i didn't know that i did not know that until now so now they're beginning to look at my kids especially the one that i've already started school as being privileged now i get it because um sending your family here to school in ghana is not even cheap okay i have like my two neighbors for example i'm going to use them for instance because i used to see especially the one especially the ones that have um especially the one that has our kids in my daughter's school because when she brings them like they are living in an apartment like mine fully paid for and fully furnished my own is not even furnished like i'm managing their own is furnished and uh, they have everything they need and then i see this woman go to school once is once is um two o'clock two thirty she will leave the house order it right go to school pick her kids and come back and i'm like wow this woman is rich it's not even easy because me i'm paying uh it's not like they didn't pay for school bus yeah they paid the school bus only takes their kids to school they go bring them themselves and they paid for in and out so i was like oh wow these people are rich because i only had the school bus take my daughter and bring her back for me which i think is cheaper for me it's way cheaper than taking her there myself because i do not have a car so i think they are very rich trust me for you to send your family here to school in ghana they are rich okay now another thing is it's not like there are no good schools in the french countries okay they are they are good schools okay they are good schools but the issue is what they are looking for is a country that will enable their kids to speak english and still get the best education that's you see so that is why most of them came in the first place that i didn't know until now yeah i thought okay oh you as a french person you get an opportunity to come to ghana and leave so you bring your kids to come and school here that was what i thought until now now i finally realized that that is not the case they only came here their mothers who abandoned everything she's doing and then she'll come leaves lives here with them cook for them look after them you know why they she gets them ready to go to school and come back and then their fathers fund it hey it's not even cheap at all it's not cheap but i see that the crave for Ghanaian education is going really big deep down in africa a lot of people are doing it even some people from english countries are also doing it right now which i consider to be really expensive if i was not living in ghana you may want to ask would you have sent your kids to school in ghana um i mean primary secondary education would you have would you have sent them mm, the answer to that is i don't think so not because i don't like the education system but because it is expensive for me i think it's expensive for me to do that like if i'm going to be out there working i'm going to need to rent an apartment that i'm not going to live in i'll rent another one that i will live in and then i'll have to send a family member to live here i'm going to take care of ah it's going to be expensive yeah but some people are willing to do it to give their kids the best trust me so if you're planning to move to ghana right now and you're worried about the education system do not worry okay it is so highly respected globally that is why the french people are here they're choosing ghana to enroll their kids in primary secondaries even nursery schools la yeah like seriously so you see Ah, my god i just want to share with you guys how lonely it feels to be here oh okay you 
I'm not an hypocrite guys, okay? I love it. I love the fact that everywhere is quiet, but it is a very big surprise for me. Like it is surprising to me because I thought that these people are living and working in Ghana. Only for me to wake up and see that the whole place is empty. They have all gone back to where they came from. So it's only a matter of um, time. In the next one, one week, ne one week from now or so, they will all be back to school because schools will be resuming I think the 5th to 6th somewhere around 6th of September schools will be resuming and all those people will come back so yeah ah that is my new year's newest discovery around here I hope that you enjoyed this short video and that I will see you in my next one ciao praise